Well, welcome back, and today I'm going to be taking you through the changes to explosives in the new dev build. I've got a big gel for crashing into, a couple of space mines, an explosive isanth, and a variety of different little ships with different layouts and thicknesses and amounts of disintegrators. And then finally we're going to shoot that. I've also got a little thing there, you can't quite see it, but uh, it's to test the ranges and things. So, let's get on with it. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to take my lasers. As you can see, we've got laser beams. You can see I'm shooting my, shooting my lasers. So then, let's find out what happens when we shoot that one. B -b boom Okay, so it looks to me like the explosion radius has been increased significantly. So we're going to have to, uh, we're going to, have to check that out by using a number of these prototypes I've prepared earlier. So I think we'll start with the small one first. As you can see, I've made them go up in size as they go up the line. One with a slightly different pattern to see if that would make any difference. So I guess we'll start off with this one. And it's going to be very simple and hopefully scientific. I am going to... So I'm going to go down. Don't want to crash into the rest of them. Across. And then forwards and jump out. Boom. Okay, the whole chunk updated, and from one, it looks like we've just damaged the blocks. Have we removed? Oh no, no. Hey, looks like it's removed two in, so it's three by three by two for one disintegrator block. So if we get back over to the uh, the next one I've built and check that one next. So here we are for test number two. This time we're going to take a sort of double pronged approach to it. So we'll find a nice clean spot just next to it. And in we go. Ghost ride. And off goes the explosion. Right, let's have a look and see how the damage looks. It does look like it's combined the two. Ah. So, yeah, it has. It's given us a uh, 3 by 3 by 2 again. Too deep. Only it's actually gone 3 deep and an extra block wide as you can see there from that pattern so that's actually quite interesting if you use two you get more than two holes it's kind of combined in the middle which is interesting it's much bigger than the other one which is just from one explosive so I think what we'll do is we'll just go and get the next ship and carry on okay so here we are for the third model here so what I've done is I've put an explosive at the back and an explosive at the front I think they're actually too close now after having done that first test where everything just exploded but we'll try it anyway so I'm gonna launch it forwards and dive out ba boom it did actually look like the second explosive kinda of wobbled about we've definitely got more penetration there it's gone in an extra layer it's actually gone in four deep to the back, <clears throat> the hole's significantly wider, we're talking five by five by three or four, with a little bit of one block either side. So this is much more consistent with adding the power together. So we're gonna go on to the next design. Okay, so here we are for the next test. And this time I've decided to go with a sort of four of them aligned uh, closely. So I'm just gonna move this across, try not to hit the other ones. That's Probably, in fact, I'm going to have to bring it up. It's about there. Okay, here goes. Okay, sorry I can't actually see the explosion, but my camera position keeps getting reset when I jump out. So, um, yeah, effectively, we've got a much bigger hole. I don't know, is that bigger than the other one? Yeah, it's wider than the other one. Um... So it didn't create as much as I thought, but it was the same amount of explosives, so that's interesting. If you spread it out, it doesn't necessarily create a wider hole. It's a little bit wider. I think when it hits, it might wobble. Uh, but anyway, we'll move on to the next one. Okay, so this time I'm going to be checking out two explosives right next to each other. I'm just going to go straight forwards for this one and dive out. Okay, so when two of them hit, we got the same as when one hits, which is strange. I'm guessing that the first one hit, 
and then the second one exploded but it was bouncing away from the target so it didn't damage the uh, the water block here but uh, who knows so we're going to move on to the next one so next up is three so three blocks this time so I'm going to head straight up a little bit so forwards so annoying that I keep missing the actual moment of explosion but there you go so using three blocks we're getting a much bigger hole than with two so yeah, I think that was yeah that was two one's down there where is that one? I'm getting lost now. Anyway, there we go. So make your own conclusions about this, guys, just by looking at the explosion damage I'm getting. I think that's probably the best place to see it. And yeah, on to the next one. Another design with just more. I'm trying to put more of them up front, see if they'll all combine and uh, count towards the total. Just going to move over the top of this one. And up a bit. Okay. Makes the whole chunk update, that's for sure. But it looks like the first block to hit, hit, and then the rest just kind of exploded, which isn't quite as good as some of the other hits that we've been getting, but uh, maybe there's a trick to this. So, last one. Okay, so this will be the biggest one I've got set up. So let's try and see what happens when we just chuck in a 3x3x3 three by three by three on the end of a rocket. And there you go, looks like it did a significantly bigger, so you want a big flat surface at the front, that seems to yield the biggest explosion regardless of how many are in the stack right now. So okay, last couple of things to show you guys. So then, here we go, we're going to rotate and ghosty it, so wish me luck. Uh oh! Uh oh! I had god mode on! I call hacks. <laughs> and next, we're going to be exploding the monster truck, so that should be fun. Okay, chain reaction test number one using the space mine. <laughs> yeah, okay, that worked. Now we're going to do it using the isanth. Oh, it's got shields. That's going to take a while. <laughs> With a little laser. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work. That's almost a shame. Right, I'll have to fly it into this thing over here instead then. I was having a bit of fun trying to get this to uh, work, and if I just right click on this for long enough, it'll like, pick it up. It picked it up a minute ago. Come on, pick it up! It just picked it up a minute ago, you can do it. Ah, it's... That's annoying. It worked just then. I went, and it picked it up. Um, that's not working anymore. Nah. Damn. Ah, I just have to be closer. Yes, yes. Hang on a minute. This is like a little beam lance. Oh, that's, but that's cool, even though I can't see it in third person view, that is cool. So right click and sort of on it with the laser thing. That's actually really cool, I like that. You have to be really close though, but it's nice. Okay. So yeah, actually that's not too bad. Right then, not quite as instant as it was before, but hey, can't have it all. Oh no, wrong way. We want to crash into this sucker. Let's go! Nothing happened. Uh oh. Oh! Oh, okay, maybe... There's a bit of a delay on the explosion there. I'm going to make sure that doesn't collide with my monster truck and cause things to happen early. Does des, des does not work? Destroy. There we go. Okay, and then last but not least, we're going to destroy this bad boy over here. The admin monster truck. So we'll start with the wheel. I don't know. I think I must be out of range. Alright, let's go for the wheels close to me. No, nothing. Oh, are there shields on this? Hang on a minute. And, yeah, make a little door. Nope, no shields here. Okay. 
Right. Okay. Boom. Oh. Oh boy. Things are still exploding. It's. I think I might have broke it. Yeah, the rest of it isn't exploding. The, the bit I shot first is just continuously exploding. I might have a bit of a problem. Maybe there's just too many disintegrator blocks. Oh god, there it goes again! <laughs> they see the explosion just keeps going up in the same place. Hello? Oh! Nothing. It didn't kill me. Look, these explosions, they're not, it's not blowing up. Have I crashed it? Yep. Pings are frozen. Yep. So, thanks for watching, and uh, remember, these uh, are features which are in the dev build, and as such, they're not completely finished yet, and uh, are subject to change. So, yeah. Come on, explode! Okay, so I'm not exactly 100% sure what happened there, but I restarted the server. I'm going to go and look at the side of the... Uh, monster truck where I was shooting and uh, yeah there's a massive freaking hole but um, I don't really know exactly how that happened all I know is that uh, it's kind of gone I mean I'm I've just restarted it so this should give me the best chance to dead try this out again but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jump out the core select my laser gun and shoot the floor and get back in the core quick oh no I can't get in it I've broken it again already. Damn it! <laughs> okay, so yeah, this needs some work, but uh, I'll be covering more of this because I have lots of fun with explosives and Star Maids. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.